another talented Ohio University student with us. Leah, can you introduce yourself and say what your talent is? My name is Leah Ward. I'm a junior here and my talent is going to be reciting a poem. All right, and how did you get interested in poetry? Um, I've been interested since I was a senior in high school. My teacher at the time was into poetry and she kind of got me inspired. And what inspires you? What inspires the poems you write? Um, this one I'm reading tonight is for my cousin. She um, deals with body images, so I thought I'd write this one for her. Is there a title to your poem? Um, no, there isn't. Untitled. Untitled. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, thank you. I have hated you for years. I have hated you for years. I felt your warm touch caress my cheek since I was a child, too naive to understand that you were never important, never never important. As I grew, your touch consumed me. It slowly took over my thoughts. The words I spoke were signed with your name, and you wrote in red ink. Those around me could see your effect, for their eyes were blinded by the sight of you, the sight of you like looking directly into the sun. You are the reason. You are the reason my little cousin Casey shows her friends my picture and says, look at my pretty cousin Leah. You are the reason my uncle calls me and tells me to talk to her, talk to her, talk to her about loving herself no matter what color or shade of color that she is. And as I reach my phone, my hand through the phone and wipe the tears from her face, I tell her you are beautiful and your brown skin is a major part of that beauty. You make little girls grow up too fast and parents worry too soon. To some, you taste like sweet honey on a warm biscuit, but to me, you taste like peanut butter and I am allergic to peanut butter. I hate you, but I have no control over the remote. I cannot stop reading the magazines. I refuse to look in the mirror thinking what is wrong with me. Why is my skin like this? Why the little girl in the playground called me that when I was four? This is not fair and I will no longer play by your rules. I hate you, but I will never quit. This fight between me and you will continue until you finally understand that you are the reason little black girls don't go to school because they know they don't look like everybody else. You are the reason and I have hated you for years.